Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking to you about food and a current diet plan that I'm on. Now it's not a diet plan as in to lose weight diet plan, it's a diet plan to make you feel better, improve symptoms and try and have a general better feeling of life if that kind of makes sense. So it's called a low FODMAP diet so I'll write that on the screen here and I'll leave information about it in the down bar so make sure you check that out. So it basically means that you are avoiding all short chain carbohydrate foods because with short chain carbohydrate foods are really hard to digest through the gut and the intestine which causes problems like stomach cramps or feeling sick and things like that so the idea of this diet is to have long chain carbohydrate foods which are easier and simpler to digest to try and reduce spasms cramping tummy aches all that bloating all that sort of thing symptoms now if you don't have any symptoms you can just change a few things anyway to try and basically make yourself feel better so i'm going to show you the foods that i'm having on this diet that you might want to try yourself and i'll let you know what they taste like and all things like that so item number one is basically yogurt wise to avoid all um dairy yogurts so these are what i have discovered there are little lacto free strawberry and raspberry yogurts and you get four in a pack and oh my days they taste amazing i used to have activia yogurts before i had these and i will never go back now and um, these just taste so nice they're so creamy so flavorsome it's amazing you can't even taste the difference it's just oh it's so good on the subject of um yogurts and dairy things i've switched my milk over because on this diet you can't have cow's milk so i am now drinking two milks i'm drinking i've only got a little carton of this one at the minute uh, it's either rice milk i'm drinking or almond milk um almond milk is full of goodness with the almonds and obviously it's um dairy free and they've got antioxidant vitamin e low in fat and it's a good source of calcium and this is just the alpro almond original one basically and it looks like that and it's got loads of goodness and stuff now i'd say this I say the first two, three, four uh, tries of this, you'll think, oh, I'm not sure if I really like it or it's got a really strong taste. But then you just completely become immune to it, really. But it does have a taste as this one. So if you're wanting to change but not wanting a taste, really, I would say go for the rice milk because you can t taste a tiny little bit of um, a difference, but there's not really any taste of this. And so, if you want as similar as you can to cow's milk, but not cow's milk, I'd say rice milk is the way to go. Out for my cereal, um, you can't have any of the normal cereal because they a lot of them contain gluten, for example, wheat bix or shredded wheat or Cheerios, all things like that, all contain gluten. On this diet, you're not supposed to really eat things with gluten, so. I got these from Sainsbury's, these are just organic cornflakes and they are dietary on the side. They're organic, a low fat food, a low saturated food, naturally gluten free and suitable for vegetarians and vegans and it's free from artificial colours and preservatives and then it tells you all about it on the back and they're nice, they just taste like normal cornflakes basically so I have them some mornings. The other mornings I've got so into this. Now it's kind of expensive at four seventy five. I got this from my local um health food shops, but these are basically just gluten free porridge flakes and I make put I use the measurements at the back and I put them in a bowl with and look I'm spilling it all over my carpet with the almond milk and I basically have that for my breakfast so they look like the flakes because they're all like crushed up. And they look like that. And they taste really nice. You cannot even taste the difference. I'd say they, these taste nicer than normal porridge flakes. And they're so nice. Full of energy. Gets you set up ready for the day. And it's just, just really, really good. Oh my gosh, look at my carpet. So on that porridge and other things, I have um, Tesco Whole Foods brown linseeds, which are a good source of fibre and it helps maintain a healthy digestive system. And I, you, well, to be honest with you, the belly, you can barely even taste them, but I love the taste of them. They're just basically absolutely tidgy brown. That's how small they are. Brown seeds that you just, so you can sprinkle them in smoothies and your breakfast cereal, in soups, in stews. 
make them in pancakes, anything. So that is what they look like. And if you've heard of linseeds as well, linseed, sorry, not linseeds, flax seeds. Linseeds and flax seeds are the same thing, except flax seeds are just ground versions of these, so they've like been crushed and they're the same thing. But these are a lot cheaper than um, linseeds, so I use them on my cereal. And then you can have on this diet as well pumpkin seeds. Now I just got these from, I don't know, Sainsbury's possibly. So it says serve as a snack or bake into bread and they're high in protein and high in fibre. And these are a good source of the mineral zinc. Um, and you should really have about one to one and a half ounces a day. And these are what they look like. They smell, I can't even, I don't really know what they smell like, but they do have a smell uh, you can taste these a little bit on the own but if you make a granola which I will show you later you can't even taste them and they taste really nice and these can go in cereals, shoots, juice, soups, smoothies, everything like that again the Brazil nuts which is a good source of the uh, mineral selenium um, and you're supposed to have maybe about three to four of these a day to get a good amount basically so they are them and I like them and you can if you don't like the taste of these I used to hate these but I used to just keep persevering with them and keep trying with them and now I just eat them whole I really really like them so if you don't like them try blitzing them up in a blender so they like dust almost and then sprinkle them on your cereal that way you're still getting them but they don't really taste of anything so, and then walnuts walnut halves I got ooh, and these are really good as well they just look like that. You find these in carrot cake and these are good for this diet as well and sprinkling on things and all that sort of stuff. And then I got from my health food shop as well chia seeds and these are absolutely bursting with protein and omega-3 fatty acids and fibre and a day is supposed to have about one to two tablespoons. So I don't know if I've got the price on these. No, I haven't, but I got these from my local health food shop and I got the milled ones and you can put these in granola, on your cereal, in your tea, anything really and they're absolutely tiny, it's like dust, if you can see that, it's they're just all crushed up and they're just tidgy and you can barely even taste them yet. Them tiny little things are an absolute wonder. They work wonders and they're so good. Also on my cereals and in smoothies sometimes I have used cinnamon. Just the ground cinnamon that you get from the shop. It smells amazing. It looks like that if you've never seen it before. You probably have seen this people doing the cinnamon challenge on YouTube. I will not be doing that but on my porridge I just sprinkle a bit on and stuff. And cinnamon increases your insulin sensitivity so it keeps it a flat balanced and these have got a really good expiry date on and you can add these to all sorts of things so cinnamon is really good for this diet as is ooh, dropping it maple syrup so this is the clark's maple syrup and i got this from morrison's and you could, it says you could use it for strawberries ice cream porridge salmon sponge cakes pancakes milkshake and gammon and this is good for you because it comes from um, the maple leaf tree so it's a plant based and it's just more natural and better for you and it's a really good substitute to sugars or if you have got like say a, quite a bland product and you want to put a bit of sweetener in it because you're kind of lacking almost sweet things on this diet add a bit of this and you're there I add this to my porridge with the linseeds 10 raisins and cinnamon I say 10 raisins because on the diet as well it's all about limiting things for like anti-inflammatory effects so say just have one piece of fruit at a time and instead of saying having a massive handful of raisins just have 10 raisins let things settle and then go back for some more later should you want them. Your bread has got to be gluten free so I have been using Sainsbury's free from um, brown seeded loaf and it looks like this and when you first have it you can really really tell the difference you think oh my god this bread tastes horrible it does not taste like it normally does but instantly you get used to it and I really like this bread look at the step of my floor I've got cinnamon porridge bread crumbs I'll be back in here very soon so I use the bread and I buy a big loaf and then I freeze it and then I just get out a few pieces that I need so like I know this weekend I'm gonna be having a couple of slices and stuff so that is good bread and it doesn't cause any bloating because it's gluten free as well 
As for supplements and things like that, I have used Nature's Aid Complete EFA Rich in Omega 3, 6 and 9 Essential Fatty Acids and these are like bullets and they stink but they look like this and I take one of them in the morning and you get how many do you get? You get 90 capsules for 12 99 which is pretty steep I think but if you think about it and you break it down it's not that much per day and then I also use the OptiBac Probiotic which is again vegetarian suitable for vegans no added sugar gluten free yeast free and all that sort of stuff and basically this is meant to help settle your gut which it says here the daily supplements from OptiBac Probiotics contain six high quality strains of natural bacteria which which are scientifically proven to reach the gut alive so this is meant to help things calm things and give good bacteria and stuff back to your gut at least i think so and they just look like that little capsules and you have two of them with your breakfast so i got them from my local health food shop as well and then this you can use coconut oil a lot and unlike say vegetable oil this is a good um fat for your body so you'd need this and it's all natural because it comes straight from the coconut so this smells a lot like coconut and you can use this all over the place you can use it in food you can eat it straight away you can bake with it it's a butter substitute you can use it on your skin you can use it on your hair you can fry stuff in it it's just so multi-purpose it this one that i got i got the chi one 100% organic one um, and this one does like taste coconutty like I made a vegetable soup not so long ago and instead of butter I used this and you could taste the coconut in it but I've baked with this I have used it on my skin which makes it so so soft I've fried pancake in it I've done all sorts with this but you can just take it off the spoon you can add it into hot drinks um, whatever but it's really 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 good for you so i would really advise investing in some coconut oil because they're just it's just an amazing product so i'll get the lid on that snack wise and things like that i love banana chips i am obsessed with banana chips and in these you just get banana coconut oil and then a bit of sugar so the kind of i don't know with the sugar probably not that great but then it's banana and it's in coconut oil you probably didn't hear much of that with my rustling but nevertheless banana chips and i just got them from holland and barrett or you can get the whitworth ones which are just the same just as nice except you get more for your money with these than you do with these and i love these as a snack coconut chips i also really like these are a good source of goodness as well it's just like basically shredded coconut and you can have that on cereals pop it into smoothies as well or just eat it on its own as a snack so coconut shredding is very very good 